Construction Unit of the Bruce. Welcome to Power Ranger Month. Character breakdown for Jason. Hi, I'm Jason, the Red Ranger and the leader of the Power Rangers. Wow, it's the Red Ranger. Oh, he's so morphin. It's tough taking on some of the meanest uglies, but when I call on the power of the mighty Tyrannosaurus, I kick it. What a cool gig. I save people, protect cities, fight monsters, and you also have to do your homework. Man, a superhero's job is never done. So be sure to watch me and the other Mighty Morphin Power Rangers weekdays and Saturday on Fox. Jason Lee Scott. Once again, <laughs> premiered on August 28th, 1993, with the rest of the original Power Rangers. <laughs> Jason's my favorite Ranger of all time. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. But with that being said, Jason is also the greatest leader in the history of Power Rangers. I'm gonna jump right in. You know, uh, when Zordon gives them their powers. And Zack's like, yeah, no, we're not doing this. You see Jason stay back and I was like, I kind of want to do this. But then, you know, Zack's like, Jason, you go and say, like, yeah. and then when they're leaving, he's talking them into it. like, hey, the guy chose us to be heroes. Like that says, like, once again, it gives you the type of person he is who wants to help. And it just sets up that this guy is the leader for this team, for being Rangers. Zach's the leader of the group just because of, you know, because you see him like, nah, we, we're not doing this. But Jason's like, we have to do this. We were chosen. And Green with Evil, when Tommy kidnaps him, the team feels the loss of Jason not being here. It's like, I don't think they actually fight without Jason, but just the, just how lost they are without him. Until you know, until Billy you know does the greatest Ranger life thing. You're like, oh, I found him, and brings him back. <laughs> but you also feel that, and his failures affect him, like in the Green Candle, not being able. To like, but and it's through no fault of his own not being able to get the green candle so time can keep his powers. He has to go fight a monster that's attacking a city, and you know, the com the confliction in his eyes, like, but then it hits him hard going into season two when Tommy loses his power for good. It generally affects him because hey, this is my fault, and to the point where, oh, hey, Zed just does the candle with the rest of the team, and, you know, Jason, I can't not let this be my legacy, let this failure keep coming back to haunt me, and he saves the Rangers' powers. That That's just great leadership, because unlike any other leader, because you see it in Carlos later, but a failure that affects him, or what does... You can even take Carlos out of the picture. This failure affects him for like a, an entirely whole season if you think about from when it happened until when there's some type of resolve. And we all know about the background stuff that led to Austin St. John leaving the show. But if you go back and watch which, what I did for these videos, you notice a steep drop off in quality of story, chemistry, just general likable characters. When Walter, Austin, and Twee aren't on the show anymore until when they kind of cover it up, like there, there's a significant drop just of being able to enjoy the show. It's just like, just, just awful. But Jason, greatest leader in the history of Power Rangers in my eyes. Uh, and this has been Brothers of Deconstruction Power Rangers Month Character Breakdown. Thanks for watching.
I just can't concentrate. Try again. Come on, man, try again. The tournament's only a few hours away. wrong. I know. It's Tommy. You miss him. It's more than that. What? It's my fault he lost his powers in the first place. If I'd gotten the green candle, he'd still be one of us. Come on, Jace. You had no choice. I know. I was there. No. I should have gotten the candle. <laughs> 